I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to dial in your laser to get the perfect results. Let's get into it. Tip number one, make sure that you clean your mirrors and your lens regularly. This seems to be one of the biggest things that is neglected when it comes to maintenance and taking care of your machine. I've had friends who have had lasers for years and have never cleaned them once. And then they end up having issues with cutting or not getting through the material or the engraving looks terrible and it's because they either had dirty mirrors or in one case, the lens was cracked. So make sure that you clean your lenses regularly, your mirrors regularly, check them for any damage, make sure that the coating isn't rubbing off or anything like that. And that will save you a lot of headache. To clean your lens and your mirrors, you can use any kind of formula that came with your machine. In my case, it's more of an eye droplet bottle. I also have a tissue paper booklet from Johnson Plastics that you can use on them as well. And if all else fails, you can always use a Q-tip or one of the laser swabs that looks like a Q-tip to clean them. These will be your best options as they're not very abrasive and they're not going to scratch the mirror or the lens. Tip number two, make sure that you align your mirrors. So some machines claim that they may not need to be aligned, but it's always good to check them no matter what, even if your machine is brand new from the factory, because during the shipping process, things can get moved around just due to shock and vibration during transportation. So be sure to check out your mirrors, make sure they're aligned. Each machine has its own ways of how the mirrors are adjusted or tweaked to make sure that they line up. I'm gonna walk you through my machine real quick to give you a general overview of what to look for. On my machine, I already took the screws out, but you will access your mirrors from the left panel. So basically the laser beam is coming out of the back of the machine, rebounding off a mirror in the back corner, and then shooting forward to this front mirror, and then across the machine to the laser lens up here. In this corner, you will see one of the mirrors with the adjustment screws and everything to be able to clean it or move it around. Then you will see a mirror right here. It's hard to tell from this side just because of the space. But from this side, you can see three adjustment screws. So these three screws, as well as this screw here, are what you can use to adjust the mirror. So on the back of this, you'll see a thumb screw as well as screws with an Allen key head. These are the adjustment points for this mirror. Once I go through this mirror, you will go into the laser lens right here. You will also see three adjustment screws on the back of this as well as the thumb screw. These are the adjustment points for the mirror going to the lens. And then inside of here, you'll have the lens sitting down in here. You can take that out and clean it by accessing this front panel. So what you're gonna wanna do is start in the top left corner here, and you can watch different videos online for the step-by-step -step process, but there's a mirror you will adjust to make sure that it's hitting the center on this. In my case, my laser comes with this little target that I stick on the laser head itself. So what I'll do is I'll slide this to the side. So I'll take this target and I will put it into the hole on the front of the lens carriage. I would push it all the way in and make sure it's flush, but this is going to be the center point that you are aiming for with your red dot pointer and everything else. I will typically cover this with a piece of masking tape and go through each corner. To start off with, I will go in the top left corner in my case. I will check and make sure that it's in the middle here. Once I go from there, I will move to the front of the machine. I will fire another shot to see if it's centered here. If not, I will have to make an adjustment on one of the mirrors 
Once this one is centered and the top left is centered as well, I will move across the table, check and make sure if it hits the center here, as well as that top right corner and even in the middle and make sure that no more mirror adjustments are needed. If there are, it's going to be typically the last mirror you will encounter. The goal is for the laser beam to hit this bullseye in all four corners of the table, or at least within that center circle. For tip number three, you want to make sure that your laser bed is level. So in some machines, the laser bed is just the bottom of the housing for the machine, and there's not really anything to level. However, if you have a machine that has a bed that raises up and down like I do, then you need to make sure that the bed is level in all four corners. If not, this can lead to inconsistent cutting, it can lead to inconsistent engraving, and a lot of other problems. So for this, you're going to need your manual focus gauge, and let me show you what to do. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is move your laser head to the top left corner of the machine bed. Take your manual focus gauge and put it into place. And what you wanna do is make sure that the manual focus gauge is touching the top of your material. You don't want it to be touching to a point where this is raised up and kind of just flopping around. You want it to be just barely touching. So right now, the laser bed itself is just up a little higher. You can lower the bed with the machine on so that this is barely touching, or you can use the belts underneath and just slide them until this is barely touching as well. So in my machine, once I verify that this is barely touching, I need to go through and tighten these four screws. So these four screws will lock this into place so that it doesn't move accidentally. Once you have this corner level, you're going to take your material, slide it over to the right, along with your laser head, and you're going to do the same process. If you are not touching right here, as soon as you come over, this means your bed is out of level. In my machine, what I need to do is loosen the two screws that are next to this red nut. Once I loosen those, I will be able to hand turn this red nut to either raise or lower the bed until this is barely touching. Once it's barely touching by that adjustment, I'll go through and I will tighten these two back down. After I verify that they're tightened, I will check here once more, as well as back in the first corner and just make sure it's still level all the way across. Once I verify that those two corners are level, I will move the material to the front right corner up here and basically do the same thing. I will bring it to the front right corner, repeat the process. In this case, the screws are a little blocked. You'll go through and you will loosen the two screws next to the red nut. You will then turn the red nut until this manual gauge is barely touching your material and then you will tighten that one down and repeat the process in the last corner. The process for leveling the machine is going to be different based on your machine. In one of my machines, it's going to be the two screws next to that red nut. On the other machine, I actually have to go underneath of the bed and loosen two screws and then hand turn a gear shaped nut. It just depends on the machine, but that's what you need to look for. I would even say that making sure your bed is level is one of the first things that you should do when you unbox a machine and you're setting it up. And tip number four is dialing in your focus. As you just saw with leveling the bed, I was using my manual focus gauge. One of the things that we tend to take for granted is the machine will come from the factory and it's going to be 100% dialed in. In most cases, when it left the factory, it was actually dialed in right there. However, going through the road experience on a truck and going through shipping and that whole process, the machine gets moved around. Even if it's inside of a crate and it's packaged really well, the whole crate is going to move and that can end up with things getting jostled around just by that experience. Your focus or your bed leveling and things like that just may be tweaked 
just slightly, enough that your results aren't as good as they could be. So this manual focus gauge may not be set to exactly what the focus needs to be. As an overview, what you wanna do is take a piece of anodized aluminum. So in my case, I have a set of these little black tags that I can use for this test. I'm going to send a square that's just filled in with black over to the machine about half an inch by half an inch. And I'm going to run that square. So let's go ahead and I'll quickly show you what that's going to look like and how that process will change your manual focus gauge. So I've sent the job over to the machine. Right now I am in focus according to the gauge. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to purposely lower it so it's out of focus right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the job. It's just a black square. So while the job is going, I'm actually going to raise the bed until the mark that is being engraved is as bright as possible. Once this is engraved, it looks like this. You should have, starting out, something that barely engraves at all because I threw it out of focus. And then as I start to raise the laser head, you will see that it starts to get brighter and brighter. I tried to lower it back down, it got duller and then I raised it back up and it got brighter and brighter again. So the brightest point that you see is what is in focus and considered your focal point. What you wanna do when this is engraving is once you see that brightest point, stop the machine, reset it back to home, and make sure that the level, the Z height of the bed did not change. What you're going to do is take your manual gauge put it back on top of here. And in my case, it's fine because I've already adjusted mine. But if for some reason this was not in focus, not lining up. So if this was not lining up, I would just loosen these by taking this left one and pushing it forward and the right one and pulling it back. I would loosen them, adjust it until it matched that focal point from the head and then tighten it back down, and that would give you a correctly adjusted manual focus gauge. Those are my four tips for dialing in your laser. Some of them are pretty simple, and others are a little bit more involved. So if you have any questions about any of the ones that I've covered, leave a comment below, and I will do my best to try to help you get through that process. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share things along the way. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and I'll see you in the next one.